Hi, y'all. Uh, so, I got a little download for y'all. So, something happened in 2017 due to the same alignment, right? I don't really tell too many people. I know this shit over, so I don't really care about saying this shit. So, look, 2017, I saw through a wall, yo. But look, it wasn't just me seeing through a wall. I saw over through a blanket that was over my head, through darkness, through a wall in the apartment, through the door, and saw the other side. And I used to say it was thermal vision, but I never thought of it as being x-ray vision until I started looking at Superman again and shit. And then learning about the sun and some old shit like that. So it was a video that Kalai Mott, right? Because after 2017, it kind of, I started like looking up shit, like conspiracies and shit like that. Like I started off like little industry shits like that and shit. But like, as time went past, I started finding videos on the shit that I was looking for, I guess. So like, say like reptilians, I saw one when I was 15. I didn't know what the fuck it was. I just called it a, a, like an alien. Looked like it had frog legs standing up like a human. Very tall, like tall as shit. That's all I knew. And I saw it in Maryland where a whole bunch of land was at. Like on a hundred acres type shit. A lot of trees and all that. So boom. Back to me seeing through a wall, right? It's 2017. Around, around September. So if you've been listening, if the videos ain't been the videos got deleted. So pretty much I figured out the 369, which is the universal cycle. But that deals with the sun and where it hits on the planet because the hertz and the degrees, I mean, the frequencies and the geometrical shapes that the Egyptians were trying to tie into actually was the measurement of time, right? And the measurement of time is actually the measurement. Well, time is actually the measurement of quantum energies. So the quantum energies is the loops, right? So this goes back to like time traveling and shit like that. So that being said, time is an illusion to be in the present, dealing with different loops, you feel me? So now we're in a loop where the Kundalini is rising, right? As the magnetic field is breaking, because it's going back to the regular state. Like, the, they try to scare people, saying when the magnetic field, the uh, global warming, but that's a natural thing. It's a, the mag, that magnetic field wasn't supposed to be up, for me. Like, because Earth already has its own magnetism, and it's, you feel me? Like, we give off electricity. I mean, we get off energy, plasma energy from below, and we receive plasma energy from above. That's the cycle. When it comes to these clouds and shit, it interrupts a cycle. Because the carbon, as it heats up, is supposed to float around and shit, right? The heat's supposed to rise from the ground. And the heat above is supposed to come down because it makes a cycle, makes a loop. So when the clouds actually get in the way of these chemtrails, fake-ass man-made shit, it generates weather when it absorbs the uh, plasma. Depending on the CME, that's really when the weather hits from the CME. Then they make highs and lows in different areas of the grid that goes along with the air cycle. Because then when hot air and cold air comes together, that makes hurricanes and tornadoes and shit. It's like, it's really niggas fucking around with science. You feel me? Like, it's all science. Like, it's not God fucking destroying your shit is these niggas interrupting the cycle which is making it destroy your shit 
because really this is a a sustain, sustainable planet reason why we're even on this bitch living. So, but the thing is, we're going back to our climate, like the indigenous climate. So, a lot of the atoms, when they get exposed to the light and it's in its right alkaline body, right, it starts regenerating itself to to its natural self. So it's trying to put you back to 100%, depending on, you feel me? It's trying to bring you back to 100%, because you're trying to bring you back to 100%. And anything in the way is getting shooken off, from me, or destroyed. Because you have to go with the frequency, you have to go against it, because once it gets higher and you're not matching it, it will destroy you, pretty much. That's why you're seeing people drop now, like they're in shock, falling out. Some people still living from like heart attacks or whatever. It's paralysis. You feel me? You get paralysis from red blood cell destruction. You feel me? So then that comes with the symptoms and shit like that. It brings uh it was shocky, even a shock. So that being said, right now, <laughs> I got off the topic from the story. Um, yeah, same through a wall, straight through darkness. And I ended up seeing my home girlfriend on the other side of the door. And I saw her putting the key inside of the door and turning the key. Like I'm seeing the key inside of the door. This, I wasn't even on no spiritual shit, none of that. Really, I don't even, like, be on that lane. I just be talking common sense because I'm starting to remember, so it was becoming common sense for me. But I'm just realizing the three, though. You feel me? Because nigga is still spiritual. You feel me? Um, so, like... The thing is, I figured out where it came from. It was an ex player that actually hit and from Kalai Mott video. He said something, I think it was like 2021. He said something about the, um, they were trying to cover up something in North Carolina. And I remember at that time, it was like a little flood that actually reached North Carolina. It didn't reach where I was in Charlotte, but it re- it reached to North Carolina type shit. So, but whole time, I'm in that bitch sleep, you feel me? During that time, I remember during that week, I was asleep, but I didn't know it was due to the sun and shit like that. I was like, maybe like 21, 20, hold on. I was like 23, something like that. So, like, I didn't even know about stuff like that because really I wasn't even on shit like that. I was trying to, like, get through it, you feel me? But in the day, that shit ended up happening. So, 2021, I figured out where it came from learning about the sun and these X flares and about the shift and all that extra shit. So when I heard about superpowers and shit, I kind of like resonated with that just because that shit happened, you feel me? So it was like, something told me to look up this alignment, right? About last week. Well, it told me to look up an alignment that happened 2017 in like September, right? And going back to what I was saying, I learned the universal cycle, right? I learned the 369 naturally. So I know where the sun is going to hit. I know the next hertz or around the hertz is going to be at. And when we are told a certain hertz, or if you can see it for yourself, um, on lasso, it deals with a dimension energy. So... We're like in the fifth on the physical 
really in the six. The six is settling though. So you're experiencing the six because it's back in solar. Because that's when it got interrupted, when it was going into the six. That's what, like, that September last year. So, like, that's when the loner shit was happening. And people weren't seeing what they expected from last year, September, to now. Because they started playing with the loops, right? So, they've been playing with three months. July, August. Now, July, August, and September has been three loops, but that represents the three nine, three six nine two, which is really is only like one season. So that being said, it happened four times. So that's when you get the grand finales on your uh, Greek and Hebrew chart. But that scale is in like the thousands, though, in reality, not like that. So. That's when you starting to hear hurts that anyone hurt hearing something to look for like twenty three hundred hertz. That deals with the six D energy, and I can show you in another video how so. Um, it deals with the three six nine, but it deals it's a cycle, so it's four different hertz for each cycle. Well, around that area, you feel me? So it makes it, it takes about 28 days for it to settle in, you feel me? The Lion's Gate portal, this is what I'm saying. So a Lion's Gate portal actually opened about four times. So, for example, New Year's hasn't happened yet. New Year's is April 1st. So Christmas will actually be March 25th, you feel me? So that being said, right now, being that it's February 2023, it's actually in reality August going into Virgo. That's why this constellation with Jupiter, Mercury, the moon and whatever the fuck it was right now. We on we on find it. I'm just saying man. Like, it, it was the same thing that happened in 2017 in September. In real time, because there's no number greater than nine, so the months actually tied down to the cycle two, which is the cycle of three six nine. Right? It's Trinities. That's how cycles work. Trinities. So, like, that being said, um, it's, it was another, when I looked it up in 2017, the alignment, I'm seeing something that's not being shown when everyone's talking about it right now. And What's, what's the date? It's the 23rd, right? Yesterday, it was on the 22nd, it was in view. So that being said, it was in view on the 22nd, right? So, so peak game, there's gonna be a distraction. I'm going to say this where I'm thinking about it right now. It's going to be a distraction. Probably March 11th. Because then that would be like some 9-11 shit. Right? And they already been talking about that shit for a minute. But they didn't have a date. Give me a date. 3-11 is 9-11. It's going to be a distraction because of a solar flash that's coming. And... Now that I've seen this alignment after me got down looking up what happened in 2017, I feel like I have to share this shit, even if anyone sees it or not. <laughs> I would just download it so I could save it. So, like, 
because I can't save it on this phone or it's going to run out of space. So that will stop me from low key making videos. So, like, boom. There's something called Regulus, right? Regulus. The star Regulus. I believe this star Regulus is part of this alignment. And I don't want to get copyright, but like, bro, I want to use your video. Like, look, I'm going to subscribe to you and everything. Y'all do the same. You feel me? Don't copyright me. Because we cool. This is not saying that I'm right. I'm just saying. You feel me? This is just, you know, expressing my thoughts. You know? I'm not asking anyone to believe me. Nothing like that. Take it how you take it. I'm just talking. But let's play this video though, because really, I don't know what the fuck this is. But I just know it's a download for shit show. So we just gonna go with this video. Regulus is situated actually in the fixed stars. Regulus is situated. Regulus is situated actually in the fixed stars. Regulus is situated. It's there. It's Leo, the constellation. It's situated. Between the feet of why is the freaking brightness go down? Emma, I don't care about that. Excuse me. Okay. So, so cool. Leo, the royal constellation of Judah, is situated. Regulus is situated actually in the fixed stars. Alright, so boom. This is how I know we on it. Alright, so boom. You see Regulus, it says Regulus is situated between the feet of Leo, the royal constellation of Judah. Well, let me make sure, it's, yeah, we record it. It says, Regulus is situated between the feet of Leo, the royal constellation of Judah. After the first con conjunction, Jupiter continues on its normal course in the heavens. So look, between the feet of Leo, right? I just said, a lion's gate portal open, January 27th. So it's from there, that's when it started heating up, right? I've been saying this shit. This is the last loop, though. This is the fourth loop. I believe it breaks April 1st. And then they're going to try some shit with uh, Commonwealth. So that's going to deal with, like, Social Security's dealing what's good i was going to deal with social securities dealing with like uh then i forgot what i was saying okay a little bit but it's cool all right so i'm just repeat so look it's talking about leo right now during this conjunction where we've seen different conjunctions but it seemed like every conjunction that adds an extra planet or some type right and them lineups really just bring extra energy because that's part of our alignment, you feel me, as a star. Like, Kai is a star and a planet at the same damn time. So, like, that being said, um, if you was on another planet looking at us, it would look like a damn star or a sun or some shit. Just like when you see Jupiter, it looks like a red dwarf. It looks like a red supergiant star. You feel me? Because it emits red. 
feel me? So, like, but a lot of them jumps be spinning, right? Like, they twinkle. They twinkle because it represents phi. P-H-I, feel me? It represents phi. Kind of like Philly. Dealing with social security. <laughs> it's some bullshit. But look, it represents five, but when the stars be twinkling, them shit's actually spinning. They look like little portals or some shit. If you can get a good visual of it, they look like portals. So, like, is that's the reason it's spinning. I mean, twinkling like that, because it's spinning. It's like quantum energy, right? Because most of them stars already Nova, you feel me? That's when it comes to, like, them blowing this shit up, you feel me? <laughs> you know, we trying to stop that. That's the reason why the Galactic Family coming down, too. For me, it's, it's a wrap. But this is what I'm really trying to say. Because, like I said, 2017, the same alignment happened, but the magnetics field was up, even though it was already depleting. It just wasn't depleted the way it is now. So, what got me startled. To even just cover my eyes and just try to go to sleep and just say, fuck it. I saw a laser beam that came through. Blinds was open, but after that, it came through just through the wall. You feel me? And, like, no way that could really happen when I don't think about it. But it happened. So I'm feeling like infrared light connected to a pioneer. To, to my pilot and then a shift happened like that but when she walked through the door it disappeared like that it's just my face was in shock she was like what's wrong I was like if I told you you wouldn't believe me and she was just like then don't tell me so, so I used to tell certain people you know they just be smoking or whatever training or whatever and just be like, it'd be at that time, like, fuck it. <laughs> I would say this shit. And they'd be like, I believe you, bro. But niggas don't. You know when a nigga believe you. You feel me? Because your actions manifest. It reflects itself. I mean, like your thoughts or how you really feel reflects itself. That's just like what's going on right now in the subconscious. When your intuition manifests itself in the physical is reflecting itself from what you saw, right? So you might end up doing some weird shit or saying some shit that makes sense. And you'd be wondering how the fuck you know this shit the whole time you remembered you saw some shit. You just don't remember it. You seeing it because of the consumption that's in your body. But I don't really know too much about this regalist thing. But I know the other shit that I'm be talking about ties into it. Like I said, well, Leo. Leo usually deals with August, right? It's August right now in reality. Because it's not 12 months. It's nine months. Really. But really, it's a scale that repeats. Feel me? When it goes to one scale, it goes to another. That's three, six, nine. That's really why it's taking four years for this shit to happen from when it started. But it's going to line up to when it started. So December 19th, 2019. Ooh, actually be March 19th, 2023. Because each year was, one year was the three, the next was the six, the other next was the nine and now you get in the rebirth this year of the of the of the nine for me i mean well the whole six which is the, which is the 12 that's where you get the four too because the four is only a part of it because of that 
because of the rebirth of it. You know I mean, that's the only reason the four comes. But in reverse, it makes it work to like Satan type shit. You feel me? Because they reverse the cycle so it can go against you. Reverse the teachings so it will go against you when it's your own teachings. That's why I showed the alpha beta system. Because the alpha beta system is actually the codes to the universe. They just told you it was the ABCs. It really is A plus B equals C. And then it's a story that is an alignment. You keep going with it. So, this Regalus, now that I know I'm on my shit, or what I've been thinking, even some more, we're going to say Regalus is in the sky 2023 right now. Right? And I can't remember what the fuck I just said because that was annoying. But yeah, that's what it is. So boom. Let's just play this shit. Cause my eyes get to rambling. So boom. Regulus is situated there. That's Leo, the constellation. It's situated between the feet of Leo, the royal constellation of Judah. After this first conjunction, Jupiter continued on its normal course in the heavens. Uh, next. And here we see it continuing its normal course. Next. Then, on December 1st, 3 BC, the planet stopped in its motion through the fixed stars and began its annual retrogression. It does that every year, but it doesn't conjunct with Regulus every year. It, it does that, so you can see it if you want to. It stopped in its motion through the fixed stars and began its annual retrogression. Turned backwards, started going backwards. It's not really turning backwards. We're just outrunning it. As it did so, it once again headed toward the star Regulus. On February 17th, 2 BC, the two were reunited. Jupiter continued its backward retrogressive motion another 40 days and then reverted to its normal motion through the stars. Wow, can't make up its mind. No, it's it's going on the normal path all the time. It's just that viewed from planet Earth, we're outrunning it and it appears to be moving, stopping and turning around. This movement placed the planet once again into a third conjunction with Regulus on May the 8th, 2 BC. Next. To an appropriate observer, it would appear that Jupiter was making a circular crown effect over and around Regulus. With each of these apparent changes in direction, the planet briefly becomes stationary within the background of the fixed star, just briefly. On December 25th, 2 BC, Jupiter came to a normal stationary position, but this time directly over Bethlehem as viewed from Jerusalem, exclamation point. At precise- All right, so like I said, August, right? Can play with three months. So September is like a three, like because it's a rebirth, right? Virgo. But then December is like a twelve because of Christ-like energy, right? Dealing with Christmas, and, you feel me? So sep September is going to be March this year but it's also in reality December if it was a December it would be March feel me it's three alternates to that one month feel me or really four alternates to that one month and that's where you get that 12 from feel me? that's what the Gregorians did that's why when you enter the 5D, they test you, they try you on the spiritual realm. If you passed it, like on some Enoch shit, then you go to 7D. And if you keep going with, within yourself, you go higher. But as you learn this shit, it's preparing you for the 6D, which is settling on the planet. Because when 5 and 6 
settle. Both, both parallels, north, right. Yeah, uh, east, west. It's good. Them two lines, just the parallels. Other than like the little veins. Huh? You text me? Oh. <laughs> Alright, so boom. So, damn, I forgot what I was saying. But, um, yeah, so it'll be September and December. I mean, so, say it's August right now, it's February, September. It's really still November. And got down December at the same time. So, a lot of shit you was expecting last year. Doing due to my three six nine theory with the months, it matches up with astrology, and then it matches up with the two, the three, and the four being the big nine, two parallels, three alternates, and four states of matter. Feel me? The eight ties in naturally for the four states and the four elements, but in reverse, it's them harnessing energy and shit. All right, so boom. But the thing y'all need to realize, the moon is really the sun. You're just saying the reflection of what's around the sun because you can see it better at night, better than what you see it during the day. You know I mean? It's just, you're seeing the reflection of the sun. That's why you can look at the moon and see what's around the sun. If you get a good view. Feel me? So that being said, <laughs> it's an alignment that's really hitting the sun. And really, that's why the UV of the sun is higher. Because... <laughs> At the, at the same time, it's connecting through different gates with con sort of like mirrors. That's why it makes constellation lines. So, they connect. Anyways, it's going to Actually, this time. So, remember what I said and hear this part over again. See, next. To an appropriate observer, it would appear that Jupiter was making a circular crown effect over and around Regulus. A crown effect. With each of these... Jupiter also gives off CMEs. So it's like, really, all these stars give off CMEs just like Orion's belt. It actually, they classify it. If you just read in between the lines, you realize that it's talking about the same damn thing. So it's like, yeah. So, crown, though, also stands for C, gamma, right? Because when you tap into your third eye, the correct way, without the attachments and shit, you're really in your crown. Like, you really be using your chakras a lot of the times, just naturally without you knowing. It's just, it becomes different when you're aware to what you're actually, what you're actually doing. Because when you're aware of it, you know where it's coming from. And when you know where it's coming from, then now you can control your reality and the situation. You feel me? Because you're literally picking up frequencies and giving all frequencies up, just like a sun. And then you have your own magnetic field, too. You feel me? Which comes with protection. So it's like, because... Once your body is doing what it's built to do, it protects you. It's funny. It's just like some bulletproof shit. You realize your carbon and realize how you're connected to it and shit like that. Something that you would think that could harm you really can't. 
because now you're in control of the elements. You feel me? Dealing with guns, that's, that's carbon. You feel me? Kinetic, kinetic potential energy. But let's get back to what you're saying. A parent changes in direction. The planet briefly becomes stationary within the background of the fixed star. Just briefly. On December 25th, 2 BC, Jupiter came to a normal stationary position. But this time, directly over Bethlehem as viewed from Jerusalem! Exclamation point. At precisely this time, the planet stopped in the middle of the constellation Virgo, the Virgin. The sun also was standing still in its usual winter solstice. That's from the day stop getting uh, stop getting short and start getting longer. The standing still right there uh, among the constellations. December 25th. Next. All right. So December 25th. Let's just say that's next month. 25th. Now, the Roman interpretation of this, to the secular world devoid of spiritual conscience, particularly to those in Rome, it seemed like heaven itself was giving approval for the emperorship of Augustus and that Roman government had the divine... Augustus, August, right? We're in August right now, and we're dealing with Regulus. Uh, Keep going. In right to world sovereignty, as if the heavens themselves said, Rome is to rule, Rome is to rule. We're the imperial. This was in spite of the fact that they were aware of the prophecies made by Daniel. Suetonius and Tacitus confirmed that Rome knew of the belief that the empire of the world would be given to someone from Judea. That's one reason they paid special attention to Judea. Next. Jewish interpretation. Ernest Martin aptly notes that the spectacular astronomical signs from May 3 BC to December 2 BC would have caused wonderful interpretation by astrologers on behalf of Augustus and the Roman Empire. But the Magi decided instead to go to Jerusalem with gifts to a newborn Jewish king. That's what it come back to the Romans and shit. Because you know the Romans got the uh the Onum Sanctum. Man, what that shit was just saying. 3 BC. Jewish interpretation. Ernest Martin at Jerusalem with gifts to a Oh, my bad. Roman government had the divine right to world sovereignty. It's right, so, boom, you just heard what he said. Roman government had divine right to the world sovereignty. That ties back to the Onum Sanctum that was created uh, pretty much when they started off the uh, social security card and shit, right? Or the, the social. And it ties back to your birth certificate type shit and the baptism of you with your religion, right? It's, it's a soul thing and then a physical thing, right? But the thing is, we were the Romans, right? It's just, uh, I'm not trying to say that without saying it like wrong. So don't take it left when I say that. Like, I'm just saying the indigenous ones, right, beforehand, because it was eugenics going on everywhere. But I'm just saying, like, because I feel like the Titans tied down to the Romans, too, and the blood ties down to Rome. Rome is actually the opening constellation. <laughs> it's some old shit with that shit, but like, I'm not trying to say I'm like a Roman, but I'm just saying like, the one who started this shit, he was uh one of us, and 
I know that shit ties down to um them taking over, right? Using a different high priestess, right? That was just totally against humanity, right? I didn't say that all right, but you get what the fuck I'm saying. Don't even try me with that shit. All right, so boom. So, like, I'm just saying, the Roman government had divine right to world sovereignty. That deals with the Odom Sanctum, right? But you have your own divine right to claim your shit back, right? That's where that shit ties down to because you became a prisoner of war for not cooperating with the world order they were trying to do. You feel me? That's even why uh, Abraham Lincoln died. Like, he didn't free the slaves and shit. He was pretty much saying he was cool with a lot of shit in the day. It's just the, the thing that Abraham Lincoln didn't do, he didn't sign off on the world order shit. That's what he wasn't with. And they killed his ass for that shit. You feel me? Just like the Haiti president. Right? And if he ain't dead, he just somewhere ducked off. You feel me? Right? <laughs> Cause he might be trying to get himself together so he can actually do what he need to do. That's just another theory. But he was somebody that they beheaded. So he must have had some type of power of, of some sort. But I'm not even going to get into that. But I'm going to just say that actually dealt with the Hunter family because of General Inferior great-great-grandson which is probably Hunter Biden, probably why they on his ass, right? Because then that also deals with the jumbo juice that's been going around the world that they didn't, that they say they didn't fully test it, but they've been testing this shit for the last 60 years. Feel me? So that's um, part of your immunity package where you claim claiming yourself proving them as a de facto using drugs and devices. Continuing. The heavens themselves said, Rome is to rule. Rome is to rule. We're the imperial. This was in spite of the fact that they were aware of the prophecies made by Daniel. Suetonius and Tacitus confirmed that Rome knew of the belief that the empire of the world will be given to someone from Judea. That's one reason they paid special attention to Judea. Next. Judah. Jewish interpretation. Ernest Martin aptly notes that the spectacular astronomical signs from May 3 B.C. to December 2 B.C. By Daniel. Suetonius and Tacitus confirmed that Rome knew of the belief that the empire of the world will be given to someone from Judea. You know, they say a lot of shit. Watch your man's, he might be Judas. Some shit. But you know, one thing that I learned about Judah, and one thing that I learned about niggas that be telling the truth. I mean, everybody lied. That's why they said it was a sin. Because you was born into a life that you was taught. To, you, get, you was in a given perspective. You wasn't out here naturally like a little bird or some shit. Like a bird. They get hatched out this shit. And they mama throw them out the fit, off, the, uh, off the goddamn nest. They hop off the porch early, nigga. You either gonna hop off and survive this shit by flying. Or you dead, nigga. And they know that shit. So it's like, that's what the fuck going on. <laughs> hey, Judah, right? Judah knew who the fuck Jesus was. Hold on. Judah, see. They took some shit out the Bible. 
There's some shit in Thomas, Enoch, and I think Judah or some shit. It might have been in Judah, right? But Judah knew who Jesus was. He knew he was a, a shape-shifting as being too. Cause he was, you know, he knew who he was pretty much. So that's what I thought about to this prophecy right here. That's even in that Roman shit. <laughs> like, you feel me? Like, it's a wrap. You see the line, how the alignment is lining up. It's just the only thing about it, it can't be inky. <laughs> it's just. Ah, damn, bro. Might be some manipulation shit going on. Because the bro who's playing this whole shit is actually still bloodline to the indigenous. You feel me? Ah. And, I mean, there's a lot of people claiming this shit, but... If a nigga know the key, he might try to claim this shit before the righteous ones do. You feel me? And they can make it seem righteous, which will make it seem like some antichrist type shit. You know where I'm going? But antichrist is anything that goes against the papers. So, <laughs> it's going to be from someone who does the right thing to people. Even if you're chilling outside at your job, somewhere on this, in jail, somewhere, it might be your ass. You feel me? But anyways, continue. <laughs> That's one reason they paid special attention to Judea. Next. Jewish interpretation. Ernest Martin aptly notes that the spectacular astronomical signs from May 3 BC to December 2 BC would have caused wonderful interpretation by astrologers on behalf of Augustus and the Roman Empire. But the Magi decided instead to go to Jerusalem with gifts to a newborn Jewish king. Next. On August the 12th, 3 BC, Jupiter rose as a morning star, which soon came into conjunction with Venus. That started Jupiter off on a journey in which six conjunctions with other planets in the star Regulus took place. Wow, this guy's keeping company. Next. Doesn't that sound like a planetary alignment or some type of equinox? Um, I don't know if the spring equinox is coming, but that would make so much sense. Because if I'm... I think Aquarius is March, right? So it would be a Trinity. Uh, Aquarius, Virgo, either Scorpio or Sagittarius. I feel like, and if I'm wrong, that's just an example. You feel me? Because it's a tri-solar system, so it's going to be a, a trinity when it's, when shit like that happens. You know? You feel me? It's a, but it's aligning to the sun, which is aligning to us. And then it's aligning to fucking all the constellations. You feel me? I'm going to say Orion. Sirius still ties into it because Sirius is just a portal to Sirius A, B, and C and X. It's a it's a it's a gateway to it. It's not just 
that star. That's why when you see star, Sirius or North Star, it twinkles. It's a gateway to A, B, C. Maybe there's an M, but A, B, C. And then you probably just feel the magnetism from Planet X. Oh, yeah, you feel the magnetism from Planet X. Because, yeah, you feel me? And then when you feel that, you feel the magnetism in your body. You start, you start harnessing this energy that's hitting you. That's why them sea flares, I fuck with the sea flares. <laughs> but it gets you ready for the M and the X. And them sea flares is like gamma for shit show. It's a plus B equals C. It's gamma, which taps you into the third eye, or 72. Right? Which is most likely where the new pole would be. Around 72. 72 to 80 degrees from the yeah, This shit is actually happening right now, bro. Share this video, like, and subscribe so I could go live and just actually have hella people on there. Not for my benefit, just so I'm not wasting my fucking time. You feel me? So, y'all niggas, help me out. So, boom. The final planetary union was the massing of the planets, which occurred with Mars, Venus, and Mercury on August 22nd, 2 BC. Jupiter then became... Scratch it. All right. I'm going to shut up. But Mars occultation was it occulting with Jupiter, Venus, and Mercury. You feel me? Then the portal opened up. The Lion's Portal, the Leo Portal, it opened up to receive more energy from A, B, C, and X. That's where you're getting your flares. And then you got what really is tied into Orion, too, on Orion's belt because it's giving off CMEs, too. Really, Jupiter's giving off CMEs. All these shit's giving off CMEs. You feel me? It's helping it get its power back or at least it's trying to because as it gets its power back it makes the lands rise back up it's connected to the lands so when the lands rise back up you have a brighter sun you feel me and then the brighter and brighter it gets it does it, it be a, it's in a natural state other than that, it's going to supernova. You know, so let's get it. Stationary for a brief time over Bethlehem on December 25th, 2 BC. After running its course, then it massed with the planets. Just think of the state Earth as part of your body, right? And your immune system, your cells, the red blood cells is trying to fight off the parasitic evaders off of your organ, right? Say it was like cancer. Say these niggas is like cancer on you, right? So your body is fighting it to get it off, right? So what your body does, it heats up. They call it a fever. Once it heats up, it starts shaking it off. And most of the time when it's harder for it to shake off, that's when you experience higher temperatures. So, so, that's what's going on, period. So, either way, they don't want to stop. The planet's just going to keep heating and heating. Energy from below, energy from above. It's just going to keep heating and heating till they can't do shit no more. But the thing is, when that happens... A lot of shit that you can't see, you'll be able to see. Then a lot of shit you can't remember, you'll be able to remember. Like, it's just going to be like, kind of like a mind fuck that you need to be ready for. Other than that, you might end up doing the wrong shit.
might fucking off yourself or something. Or, like, just end up moving wrong. Feel me? So, like, that's why it's imperative to remove fear. Because fear just interrupts your chemistry with the planet. Right? It interrupts your your aura field, like your like your aura field is like your light. It could be also your shield. You feel me? And you transmute that light through your third eye. That's where you get the snake. Because you know, it was symbolism of the pit organ that's in the snake. Because they transmute infrared light through they to the pit organ. The single eye, and it they go off the frequency. That's why if you fear a snake, they might strike you. But if you play certain frequencies, they dance to it. You feel me? It represents the Kundalini and frequencies, which is frequencies is really music. You feel me? So, let's just let it play right now. And then became stationary. Wow. Wow. To those studying the heavens, this would be of major significance. Particularly since they didn't have TV and uh, gun smoke and I Love Lucy and uh, uh, all the modern ones. They didn't have something to preoccupy their time. They looked at the heavens where the real message was. At the inception of this scenario... Here we have Jupiter, the king planet, which has just united with Venus, planet of love, now joining itself with a king star Regulus, the star of the Jewish Messiah, in Leo, the constellation of Judah, while the sun, representing the supreme father or ruler, was then located in Virgo, the virgin constellation. You got it, the whole thing, everything. Next. So you see what I mean? theory is on it because look right now it's february the whole time is august and at the same time it's november it's just a loop because there's no number greater than nine so when the months come after that ninth month which is virgo 10 11 12 is one two three as a rebirth of a new cycle you feel me because it goes to nine. It's just, as it, the Kundalini was rising, it's taking four years for it to do so from 2019. Because that's when the cycle started after the equinox. So that one year was the three, the second was the six, which when you start experiencing UV index at the number six and higher, then the third was the nine, and this year is the 12. So the 12 is represents the Christ energy, right? But it's coming through as a rebirth, right? That's why they're talking about Virgo, talking about Leo, and then talking about some little religion or some shit like that. And to make all of this possible, God placed all of the planets on the same ecliptic the same plane now pluto runs in another direction but all of these that are of significance here are on the same plane within a five degree arc so all of this would be possible and that makes possible uh, the eclipses of our moon as well So that's enough. Homeowner hack now, number six on how to get the government to give you thousands of dollars everywhere. So for this one, guys, I got these weird little panels installed for absolutely no cost out of pocket because I found this program and it pays for all my electricity.